Uh! Hey guys. Which camera do I look at? I don't know. Today's episode, we're going to deep dive into some freaking jammers. What? Kelly Slater learned how to surf again. What? A bear attacks a surfer in Florida. Kai Linney approves of this new watermobile. Watermobile? This woman abuses the 12th dimension. She does? Sylvester Stallone picks up barefoot water skiing. Whoa! You can learn our new taint exercise. <laughs> Kelly Slater grows his hair out again. What? Italo's back and his knee's better than ever now that he's got his Crocs again. Dude. A squid attacks a surfer. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, did he live? Jamie O'Brien surfs Laird's poop. <laughs> Well, guess what today is? What? The world title showdown. So today's the day that someone else gets to win? <laughs> someone else? <laughs> someone wins <laughs> every year? Today's the final five. Who's all in it? Felipe's in the highest seed. Griffin is second. Ethan is third. Fourth. Jaco. Fifth is Jack. And who's slotted to win? Who's predicted? Felipe. Felipe Torpedo? Yeah. Who do you want to win? I want Griffin to win. Yeah. Because he's your dog pound? Because he's my dog pound. Felipe is, like, probably going to win. Right. He's just so gnarly right now. Yeah. So the contest is in San Clemente, and that's where Griffin is from. Ooh. So it's the whole town, and he's got pictures of him everywhere. Uh, and I'm worried if it's, like, too much too much pressure. Yeah. Like, I don't know how he could sleep the night before. Dude. Like, his face is everywhere. And that San Clemente is, like so small and Dude. such a surf town i don't know if he can do it he'll be a freaking single mini hero ledge of all might be too much pressure i know griffin's still young like felipe's been on tour for 10 years and he won his first one last year so Ooh. i feel like felipe might win the next five what's going on with freaking italo why is he not in there he hurt his knee oh and yeah, I have his Crocs. Because <laughs> of, because, oh, the support. He hasn't been same. Because of the support. <laughs> he hasn't, he doesn't have Croc he's support. He's his knees. <laughs> <laughs> Griffin, he has an advantage because he surfed that wave his whole life. Mm, that's true. It's just, I kind of feel like it's a disadvantage being hometown. Like, it's so much pressure. Yeah, because it's like, you should win this. It's your freaking wave. I just, I'm, I don't know. I'm worried. But I feel like Griffin... <laughs> He's still so young. Like, he hasn't even, like, gotten his full body weight yet. <laughs> yeah, you know, like, NBA players, yeah, when they first start, they're, like, so good, but, like, they're still, like, skinny and stuff. Right. And then they fill out when they turn, like, 28. Yeah, and I then think, they're... I think Griffin's, like, 23 or something. Dang, he's still a baby. Dude, so you saw you got an air the other day. <sighs> My first air. That's sick. What's well, funny, I didn't, I didn't even remember it. What do you mean? You did it and you kind of paddled around. Uh, I didn't see the footage till like, three weeks later. And I, I did the air. I was like, oh, that that probably wasn't that high. Yeah. It didn't. I would, I couldn't tell if it was legit or not. If <laughs> I got the tweak right, or by watching the clip, I was like, well, that was like actually technique. Everything was Sick. legit. Yeah, it was. It's like a huge being crippled for so long. I yeah. just never thought. It was like such a far fetched dream, like to be able to do an air surfing again. So your first air after your brain injury. Yeah. That's so it's been five years. <laughs> yeah that clip was sick it was cool to see yeah it was a big deal for me it probably looks nothing for anyone else i mean i still couldn't do it my brain is <laughs> fine <laughs> yeah it was, it was like my rocky moment sick yeah. whoa it's a yoga mat surfboard where do we get one this is genius because if you just had a yoga mat, you yeah. wouldn't know where to put your hands <laughs> on it. Whoa! Oh, and they make one for goofy and regular? This is genius. How did we just come out with this? I don't know. Surfing will never be the same. Before, how we would how would we know how to get on our surfboards right. without this yoga mat? Yoga surf mat. On your he doesn't even need to surf anymore. Hmm. Nice day. That, this looks rad, actually. Dude, I would do this <laughs> with my wife. Because if you stop, you can still float. <laughs> that other one, you just sink to your Oh, back. so they figured it out. <laughs> That's so actually pretty sick. I back this one. Looks cold, Look too. Look how cozy they look. She's got a little snow hat. <laughs> 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 you know the snow wipes that I've been trying to get going? Yeah, the cocaine wipes. Yeah, the anal cocaine wipes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this was our 
We tested it on our first. All right, let's see. Um, employee. <laughs> my neck, my neck, my neck, my neck. <laughs> hey, 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 hey. Look how good the snow wipes work. Whoa, dude, surfing's taking over this country. Dude. Look at this freaking Hell's Angel. Even He's shredding. Like, buff, scary Harley's Angels dudes. Buff, scary Harley's. <laughs> Even big, huge, mean Harley Davidson dudes are dude, good. Dude, everyone's surfing now. Dude. He's actually kind of shredding. Look, he's switching. <laughs> Look at the cars. Dude. <sighs> wow. Is he sponsored? Dude, he's got to be on friggin' Ruka. Hennessy. Oh, my God. This is scary. This is scary, dude. Dude, if a shark... It's... Watching this clip, it's like the reality of like if a shark really... Wanted you. Dude, you're toast. It's so big. This is a hammerhead. Gosh. And they're like the more like mellow ones. Yeah. You never hear about hammerheads. Because their heads are facing down. <laughs> they can't eat humans, <laughs> kid. <laughs> They'd have to go like this. <gasps> <laughs> what the frick is this? What? Dude, these are the top dogs. <laughs> yeah, these are the top dogs. <laughs> <laughs> is this the tandem edition? Oh. That's the winner. They're going to eat them. <laughs> I wonder if there's a Kelly dog. Well, oh. like 11 World Dog Championships. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, is there a Kelly dog? It looks like they all have their hair. True. <laughs> Whoa. I think that was the Italo dog. Yeah. That <laughs> that last one. This is, I should go enter this. Do you have to be You have a to dog? be a dog. Yeah. Oh, you could identify as a dog. What? That'd be sick if a dog learned how to do airs. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Have you seen Bert's new freaking? Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Yo, what's up? <laughs> Who says big isn't Beautiful. agile? If someone told me, do this or I will murder your whole family, I w they would just have to kill my whole family. <laughs> I'd love to watch you try. Oh my gosh, my back would go out right there. I can't even do that. No I way. I used to be able to do backflips. I wonder if this would work in a real fight, though. You just do this? <laughs> <laughs> like the guy's trying to fight you and you're like, hold on. <laughs> and the guy's like, what the? <laughs> Surfing is fun. Let's be friends. All right. Ooh. This one, Dude, he's this one looks bad. What is this guy thinking? He's like, huh? Oh, he grabbed his taint and threw him down. Dude. <laughs> this is aggressive. So that guy in the pink knew he was cutting him off. Yeah. He, he could have gotten out, kicked out. So it's the ultimate disrespect in surfing. To yeah. see someone and continue to go. He even That's why the guy's so pissed. He's like, And then he's like going to get barreled in front of him like, what are you thinking? <laughs> <laughs> he sees him, cuts him off, and then the guy's like, you're not going to get off. Him. So he pushes him. And then he's like, no, I'm still going to try to get barreled. <laughs> this is my wave. <laughs> he grabbed him in the tank and <laughs> 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 got him. I always am curious of the backstory. Like maybe those two <laughs> dudes that hate each other. Well, there was probably some kind of beef that happened before. Right. Was, like you know, maybe like he cut him off before. Well, like maybe, you know, that guy is catching too many waves. Oh. Choose your battles wisely. Right. That was a great t-shirt yank. <laughs> we call that a kook slam. And then you got to paddle right by him. <laughs> <laughs> That's what's so weird to me. Ah! I remember seeing Andy Irons, uh, this kid, uh, Alejandro. Mm -hmm. Like he wanted to impress Andy Irons so much. <laughs> We're off the wall. So he's like, this is it. I'm going to show Andy how good I am. And he goes to do an air. Instead of airing, he just flies right onto Andy. Just <laughs> <laughs> like his body just lands. Yeah. Up. And dude, I've never seen Andy so mad. Oh, and that guy was so bummed. He was trying to impress him. <laughs> <laughs> and he's like, get the F out of here. And he's like, oh, you're my hero. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever done that to somebody? Landed on someone? Yeah. Mm -hmm. There's a <laughs> clip of you kind of ticking somebody off. And they this chubby, he's a little heavier. He pushes you down in the on that one clip. Oh, what is that? Australia. Story? Yeah, well, tell that story real quick. <laughs> oh, that was super random. Like, <laughs> and then you sprayed him. He wasn't even Australian. He was just this weird, angry guy. Just was I in front? No, he was in front of me, right? It, all I remember is you guys are like, and he goes, <laughs> <laughs> he pushes you off. Did I fall? Yeah. That just sometimes you run into like these weird, crazy guys that don't <laughs> understand yeah. anything, and they're just like, if you like surf good around them they feel like Intim embarrassed yeah. or something but he pushes you down and then later at the very end you, you spram a little oh, bit yeah. and then you go <laughs> did we ever think like surfing would be everywhere like this everyone's surfing in some way now it's in the streets it's happening in the streets
Look at her kneeboarding. <laughs> Look at the guys like steady. All right, boys, let's get her home safely. What <laughs> is this? <gasps> so, dude, Kelly's like starting to age a lot. Really? And so our boy Raymana's like helping him kind of like get back on top. Really? Yeah. Did you see the clip? No. We see. Raymana's like, okay, Kelly, it's time to get up. <laughs> Kelly's like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ramana's like, you can do it. Trust me, you can do it. <laughs> Kelly's like, yeah, I can do it. I can still be on tour. I got the wild card. <laughs> Ramana's like, go, Kelly, go, be free. <laughs> Kelly's like, whoa. Ramana's like, remember, I will always love you. Go, go, Kelly, be free. <laughs> and Kelly's like, yeah, he. Dude is hit. Whoa. Dude, Kelly's, he aged fast. I know. He was just so good a couple of months ago. And then he died. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Come on, boy. Come on. I don't, I don't know. I don't know if I'm ready. Shut up. You're going to get bailed tonight. <laughs> no. <laughs> Should I stand up? Get up, you stupid piece of crap. You piece of, you idiot. <laughs> I will beat you. I will beat you if you don't stand up. Uh, okay. I, I don't know. Shut up. For the love of God. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, so this happened right here. Dude, this bear. He's like, I've been watching Instagram. It looks really easy. I'm going to try it. They're like, excuse me, bear. Can you please leave? He's like, oh, I'm so embarrassed. <laughs> Don't look at me. I'm ashamed. Look at the way it runs. Look how cute that thing is. I know. <laughs> Have you guys seen Sterling? I love his podcast. He's such a good Sophie. Sophie. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this dude freaking shreds. Oh, he shreds. He's one of the top uh, plus size surfers. Oh, is he part of your crew? Yeah, he's 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 top five. <coughs> he's going for the world title ships. Dude, he looks sick. <laughs> dude, the f- us freaking big boys, we're freaking we're taking the title back. <laughs> Look how much he shreds. And look how much aloha he had. La, la, what a freaking legend, dude. Thank you, Sterling. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for starting this tour. Whoa. Whoa. Dude. New jetpacks? Whoa! <laughs> you couldn't do that if you were just swimming. <laughs> it's, like barely <laughs> it's barely moving you. Know. That's pretty sick. Yeah. I can show you the coral. <laughs> coral. Wow. And then look at the Kailani's comment. <laughs> what is it? Lots of potential for this. <laughs> he's on it. Laird are like, yeah, write that down. Whenever they say new stuff, they're like, and he's we're <laughs> on it. Put a foil on the back and. <laughs> yeah, dude, that'll be a foil backpack. Backpack. I guess now that, like, I'm watching more of the stuff, I see that those guys they're just looking for something new Extreme. to play with yeah new toy and then they're on a credit card commercial like <laughs> look what i'm playing with yeah that'll be kylie in a new credit card commercial. <laughs> <laughs> lots of potential for this whoa Ooh. dude this chick she's kind of like found the 12th dimension look at her whoa, whoa. she's like telling the men to back off <laughs> <laughs> and look at her She's uh, she's not standing up, which is twelfth dimensional stuff. Look, look, look at her. She's planking. Psst. Ooh, planking. She's spraying the men <laughs> with her pheromones. <laughs> she goes, Psst. and all the pheromones go over, and she's like, <laughs> she's just toying with all the men. Look at her. <laughs> she's about to spray. Here it comes. <laughs> and the men, the, she's oh. like a siren. So there's a name for th- this. Is called twelfth dimensional surfing. Yeah. Oh yeah. But she's using it for the wrong reasons. Oh, she's abusing the twelfth, mm-hmm. and which is super dangerous. And in my course, I teach people how to n- not use it wrongly. There's a shot. Whoa! Look at these, dude. That would be so scary. Oh my gosh. He's pretty mellow though. He's like, excuse me, can I? <laughs> yeah. May I come through here? I saw some nice, delicious sea bass. Excuse oh. me, miss. Do you have, can, excuse me, child, can I ask you a question? And you can tell they're all inlanders by their outfits. But that shark wanted nothing to do with people. He's just looking for freaking pompano. Dude, how many shark attacks are there a year? How many shark, I would, let me predict. I think there's 25. My guess is, well, there's a lot in New Smyrna. Oh, 
So 25. They're like baby ones. Do those count? There might be 50. 70. Right? Yeah, 70 shark attacks a year. 70? And then there's five. No, there's five deaths in 10 years. That's nothing. That is nothing. And around 2,000 people die every year being struck by lightning. This means humans' chance of dying from a shark attack is beyond mi- minimal. Coconuts kill more people. Really? Like, don't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Wow, dude. We figured ways to surf anywhere now. Look at her. Yeah. yeah. She's got freaking, like, hand pads. <laughs> yeah, what are those? Is this do? net surfing? Dude, they took out brush surfing. Oh, it's now... How are we going to compete with this? It's net rope surfing? Net rope surfing. <laughs> yeah. Dude. Humans, we have so much time on our hands. <laughs> <laughs> Diamonds. We have so much time on our hands. We're like we're building rope courses. I know. In Russia, you keep hearing about like global warming and stuff, but look at us thriving. <laughs> 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 if we're at the point where we're net surfing now, yeah, we're peaked. We're all right. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez, this is Jamie O'Brien freaking what? charging YMA a shore break? <laughs> Dude. Where is he? This is Waimea uh, River Mouth. It's like this all the time? When, no, it breaks a couple times a year. It's not. This is one of the biggest ones I've seen. Look at him. It's like, Whoa! <laughs> it's so intense. <laughs> <laughs> and he's an amazing surfer, and he looked like he was on a bull. He's like, yeah! <laughs> Come on, boy! Yeah! <laughs> he's like a bull rider. Whoa! <laughs> 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 Dunk. <laughs> and what's funny the river takes you way out to sea oh so he's done it takes forever to get back <laughs> it's pretty gnarly i mean it looks like that thing would eat you it's a big one i thought laird was flushing his toilet so laird took a dump <laughs> and the island couldn't handle it <laughs> <laughs> it's just <laughs> and jamie ryan tried to la- ride laird's dump and he's like i can do it <laughs> and laird's like <laughs> 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 Laird's like, whew. Dude, Jamie O'Brien's so incredibly brave to ride Laird's Dude. dump. Jamie's like, I will ride it. Never so seen much it. creamer in that. <laughs> <laughs> so this group of plus-size surfers are going for this new trick. Yeah. It's called the Triceratops. Whoa. So you get three plus-size men, and then you <laughs> go for it, and they exploded, and he survived. He's like, I did it. <laughs> Look at him. This is so, so it's the Iron Lotus mixed with two people. Oh. So then that one guy died. So then they're like, let's just you and me do it. <laughs> and he, he got greedy and just got rid of them because he oh. wanted to be the legend. He's like, good night, sweet pea. <laughs> <laughs> so Laird started this new taint training program. Yeah. It's helping people foil better than ever. So these are taint slaps. <laughs> and look that's me filming like what's up everyone it's me sterles so he hosts these all over the world all over the world he does taint trainings and he stands around them like good yeah more squeeze and gabby's like and gabby's in the corner like (laughs) she smokes Dude, this is the craziest <laughs> skin. Skip <laughs> 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 Dude, how much energy did that guy put out? Oh, he's a trash stomper. <laughs> <So, laughs> I do like that savage guy, though. We freaking love savage. He's the savagest. I feel like skimboarders are getting better. No offense. I used to love skimboarding all the time. Why don't they just surf? <laughs> <laughs> I guess because... Oh, I, I get it when it's like big. Like a shore break. It's fun. I get yeah, it. I love how humans, we find a way to ride anything. I know. <laughs> Like, they're out there riding the waves, and we're riding this l- little ripple in here, and then we're foiling over there, and then we're stand up paddling over here. Jetpacking underwater. <laughs> <laughs> We've we figured exa- a way to ride anything. <laughs> Speaking of ride. Dude, freaking Donovan's freaking... Look at him. He's trash surfing. We're riding anything now. If we can ride it, we're doing it. <laughs> it looks really hard. <laughs> oh, my God. He's like... <laughs> Dude, so Kelly's growing his hair out? Oh, they figured he, f- he found out a secret way to like. Ooh, how's Ooh. it? 
I don't think Kelly would have had 11 world titles if he had his hair. I saw a lot of people writing that. Really? He shaved it on purpose to be more hydrodynamic. Oh, he totally has great hair. Yeah. So he's growing it back out now yeah. that he's off tour. Oh. And he's created a new secret way to wear it. All right, here we go again. Someone not looking and gonna drop in on you. Hey, how you doing? Can I sit here? Thanks. Oh, my ankles. <sighs> Perfect wave. I know. Why must we cut each other off? It's never going to stop. <laughs> See, we need surf license, dude. I know. People love that idea. <laughs> What's sad, too, like maybe you don't even understand that. Maybe you do. But like some of these guys, they've worked all week and they're out surfing for maybe two hours. Their wife let them go out and then... Pfft, that's a big part of it. Yes. We get some guys, like, if they can't surf all the time, yeah. they get their one hour because their <laughs> wife sucks so bad. Yeah. He's like, he's like, I just need this <laughs> <laughs> to keep me going the whole week. I just need one wave. <laughs> and then you cut someone off and break their ankles in half. <laughs> yeah, dude, because if me, like, I never get to surf. So when I do, if someone cut me off, I'd be like, mother son of a, you yeah. get like 10 seconds of surf. Yeah. It sucks. I know. It's brutal out there. So Italo's knees looking fine. Oh this air is so crazy. I want to live in a me. Dude. That's huge. Is that the peak of surf performance? That barrel? Like ser- And then he goes, I'm going to kill you. Kelly <laughs> said it was the best air he's ever seen. I mean, it's so insane. It's wow. One of the craziest airs for sure. And it almost all got ruined by this guy. <laughs> 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 what's funny is like that guy he'll remember it forever <laughs> yeah. and no one i didn't even notice that <laughs> he said so. well it, his squeegee buddies know dude that's donovan with his pink board <laughs> <laughs> all right boys let's go this looked like it started off like mellow they're yeah. like oh it'll be fun it'll be and then it it started taking off they're like oh shit this is actually Ooh. going pretty fast should we have done this i don't know <laughs> <laughs> Why are they steering it? Get to the water and break her vertebrae. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, dude, the adrenaline. <laughs> Why would they do this to this port? Is this Sylvester Stallone? <laughs> <laughs> Got it. <laughs> dude. dude, that's a brain injury. That's a, yes, everything, bro. We've come to sacrifice the virgin. <laughs> We've come to swing her down. Oh, I'm all right. <laughs> I made it. <laughs> <laughs> what was she thinking? Um, so if you're a virgin, yeah, at this spot you have to be on the swing to let people know. Yeah, dude. Whoa, Italo. Holy hops. <laughs> God. Oh my God. Ole. And ole. <laughs> What's funny, none of this helps. Cardio, I guess. I wonder if this guy can actually do 360 airs. Ooh. Dude, did you see that octopus that attacked the surfer? No. Dude, check it. So it attacks him? Yes, it tries to take him down. What the? He hates stand-up paddleboarders. Oh, the squid does? Yes, and look. Oh. Like he's got his leash. Oh, gosh. He's trying to get him. Oh, my. He's trying to take him in. Look how, dude, the guy's freaking out. Oh, no. He's Look. like, no, squid, please don't. There's a w- wave coming. He's like, oh. <laughs> I didn't know. <laughs> <laughs> the squid's like, got him. Good work, boys. He's like, get off that soft top. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Dude, these guys are extreme. What? <laughs> <laughs> I love my mom. <laughs> How do they survive this? Why would you want to? 134 feet. Tally ho! I mean, where do you go from there? <laughs> That's it. You've done everything that your body's able to do. What do you feel like at night? I didn't want to think about that one thing, but now <laughs> I dropped off this waterfall. I can sleep at night. Uh, the things we do because we can't learn our minds. Learn our minds? Like, instead of learning to not think about our like childhood trauma right we're like i'm just gonna start jumping out <laughs> off things <laughs> instead yeah. of going to a therapist and just talking about it yeah. like we'd rather jump off waterfalls than talk to a therapist about our feelings <laughs> <laughs> so why do you think you're jumping off these <laughs> <laughs> well my dad never loved me <laughs> it's serious dude we'll do anything 
<laughs> before just talking right. about our feelings. Okay, so DJs. DJs. So this clip of Diplo, he posted it like so he's like bragging like I would just left Burning Man five he hours ago, and I'm here doing this show. Diplo, he got Diplo. stranded at Burning Burning Man from all the mud and the rain, right? Right. Okay. So this clip, he's bragging on like play the clip. <laughs> <laughs> so he's like five hours like escaping Burning Man. So he's drinking a Red Bull. Look how tired he is. Dude, he's so tired. He's barefoot. This is how hard DJing is. He spent two minutes getting ready. <laughs> he's got mud on his face. It's not Ebola. So he's like, I'm going to eat some treats. <laughs> Let me just grab a couple of these treats. He grabbed every liquid he could find. <laughs> and he's eating pizza while doing the show. What? A <laughs> Look how hard it is. This is how hard DJing is. Oh, uh, the loophole, dude. <laughs> <laughs> dude, what I think is going to happen oh. is DJs, like the big ones like these, they're going to hire people that look like them to uh, do it. Yeah, because they're so far back on the stage. Because you just have to press play. Right. And it's he's almost giving it away. I know. He's eating Pete. This is like the worst video you can make. That's what I'm saying. Like he's bragging, but he doesn't realize he's making it look <laughs> even... More ridiculous. Like, look, I, sto- I showed up and <laughs> ate pizza on stage. <laughs> <laughs> well, what do you think about Dead Mouse? I well, freaking love Dead Mouse. I think he, he's like the only true one. I feel like he's honest about it. Recorded set, yeah, whole time, most time. Sometimes they are, sometimes they aren't. Here you play a pre-recorded set due to a strict timeline. Most major festivals, you have to play a pre-recorded set. You know what a dead giveaway to a pre-recorded set is? The visuals, believe it or not. It is so immaculately timed that everything is lining up. That means it's on a playback system. What do they do up there? Twiddle, filter knobs, and clap. Yes, absolutely. Right. He's like, you know, this music's hard to make. I don't deny that. Right. Like, it's hard to make, and you can't can't remake it on stage. You can't be like, add in the toots (laughs) and the hoots. (laughs) Yeah, how could you possibly do that? And he's basically just like, you know, performing is whatever. Right. Like, he has a good it's attitude. It's not really, you know, it is it is what it is. Right. And I'm just saying it's a loophole. Yeah. They found a loophole. Yeah. Where they get paid tons of money to just stand there. Yeah. I made this. <laughs> exactly. I mean, that clip. Which is sick. Yeah, that clip from last week, Dead Mouse is like, yes, what are you, the effing DJ police? <laughs> <laughs> like, if the light's all cued and synced, of course it's pre recorded. Yeah. There's no way they could yeah, do it. I love the honesty yeah. to him. He's sick. It's just like, it is what it is. <laughs> and I'm not si- I'm not trying to degrade these DJs. Yeah. I just, let's just not pretend like you're actually doing like, anything up there. <laughs> yeah. Those goldfish guys, they're actually kind of... Yeah, they're sick. They play instruments. Yeah. And, like, so that's... That could be, like, more legit. Like if Fisher got a triangle or something. <laughs> <laughs> we present Fisher, like, some ideas. Yeah, like a recorder or something. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they have found the best loophole. They're geniuses. Like, truly. We're idiots for saying <laughs> that. No. That, it's like they found a way... So what's another like loophole like that in life you've you've noticed? Dude, have you ever gone to like a chiropractor office? Mm-hmm. The ones where they get ten people like coming in like cattle. Yeah, like <laughs> so. There's like ten doors. Yeah. There's like ten doors, and people stand in the waiting room. <laughs> it's like so tiny, and the light comes on, and you walk out. Like, Bee! and he's like, "This way, dude." This chiro. I've only been to one chiropractor. I'm yeah. sure there's better ones. <laughs> so i was in this like little waiting room like cattle waiting for my light to turn on and i walk out <laughs> and i'm so i see him and i'm like yeah so my like neck and he, he doesn't listen to me he's just like staring off he's like and then like he's he's talking to his assistant he's like we got a g5 and a three four and a and i was like well my i'm like my neck and he's like <laughs> i'm like ah i wasn't ready for it i was like oh my god and then he got my back, and he's just like, skadoosh. And I was like, no, that was fine. Now it hurts. And then he g- hits my head. He's like, goosh, goosh. And then I walk out there, and I felt so sick. <laughs> really? He didn't. He barely talked. He's just a- he just tore my ass, and then I left. <laughs> and they're like, that'll be $700? So you think this is another loophole because they're not doing anything? Well, I think people just like hearing crunching. 
<laughs> <laughs> I do like watching Instagram videos. That's what I'm saying. You it? watch the videos online, they're like, <laughs> and you're like, ooh. I'm like, this doesn't do anything. It's like the bubble wrap. People like <laughs> popping yeah. bubbles. Have you seen the one clip where the guy's got the Lay's chips and he's pretending to <laughs> Kyra? He's like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> that's the way I felt when he squished me to death. And I remember getting home and I'm like, what was the point of that? Yeah. Like he, I'm like, my neck. Yeah. He's like, Gaga! <laughs> I will say I've had back issues. We can cut this out if it doesn't fit the joke. But I've had back issues and it's helped. For a week. Right. And then they reschedule you. That's, dude, it's a loophole. Because, like, I feel like it helps for the first hour. You're mm. like, oh, all right. It, like blood flow or something. <laughs> yeah. And then, like, a week later, you come back in and you're like, oh, God. <laughs> and I was looking at these guys that have been going. He's like, yeah, he's been here for 20 years. It's like, why? It's like, you're not getting better. Like, find something where you get better. So, chiropractors are like the DJ of doctors? They're like the DJ of doctors. <laughs> <laughs> Dude. They don't, they like kind of help people for like three days. Oh boy. So Griffin's coming out. Uh, oh. oh, this is this big news in surf world, guys. Dude, he's about to lose for sure. <laughs> <laughs> he's way too high. Is that Griffin right there in the blue? He's way. This isn't a wrestling match. So they're about to wrestle. <laughs> <laughs> That's what Look at he's got groupies. Look at Griffin. He's about to pee his Dude, pants. He's not going to be able to concentrate. So the story is, is he's the hometown hero. Everybody's voting on him. It's it's too much pressure. He's pumping. <laughs> he needs to be focused. Just from watching over the years contests and stuff. Yeah. It's always the guy that's just so locked in. Right. Maybe Griffin will prove me wrong. Is this the final? This is the second final. So for I, I wanted him to come out like stone cold face like... Like, I don't care about any of this. I just care about getting the score. Yeah, but he was kind of a little bit too... He's he's enjoying it, which yeah. is sick, but it's going to take you out of the moment. Mm. Like, you have to be like... Like, F all this stuff. I'm just... I don't care. I want the score. Right. Like, all you're thinking about is the score. Like, I don't care about the groupies. I don't care about mm. the signs. Like, just give me the score. <laughs> If he loses this heat, he's out, and then it's the final. They're throwing part. He's gone to, like, seven parties last night, they were saying. Dude, I feel like they, like, all his fans need to simmer down. They're actually doing harm. They need to celebrate after he wins. Yeah, like, everyone be quiet. <laughs> they are saying he was mosh pitting last night. What? <laughs> he's got a uh, black eye. I mean, maybe he's having, look, look, maybe he's having so much fun. This is how he does better. Yeah, maybe some everybody's different. Mm -hmm. I mean, look, look at him; he's hugging everyone. He's like hugging he's won. The, the mayor. Yeah, he like hasn't he won yet. <laughs> Griff for champ. Let this guy win. Then let's party. Yeah, we're not hating on Griff. We're just saying get out of his head. I'm worried because Ethan's going out there, nothing in his mind right now. Just it's not his hometown. There's no one he knows. He's just like, look at that. He's got boats. He's got a Griffin boat. A Griffin boat. <laughs> Griffin door. When Griffin was a kid, I went to Panama with him, mm -hmm. and he he was like, he was seriously like twelve years old. Dang! And it was so funny. Like, he was so nice. He's so sweet. Like, the nicest kid ever. And I was like, this kid's so nice. He's never gonna make it. <laughs> <laughs> and now he's number two in the and world. Now he's in the final. <laughs> but seriously, I th I thought that I'm like. He'll never he's do so n he had these dimples and like i'm like he's too nice yeah. like the kids that do good they're like mean and <laughs> i was like there's no way this kid's way too nice Hometown. but i used to mess with them because harry potter just came out back then yeah and he'd no. walk into the into our room and stuff and i'd be like Gryffindor! <laughs> 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 and they would die laughing like ah! and he's like shut up dude here goes griffin all right griffin first wave left are you crazy I mean, the wave's so mushy. So that sucked. Five, maybe? So Griffin's first wave. He's pointing at the crowd. What is going on? How many waves do you get? As many as you want. Oh. Ethan's freaking on actual good wave. Oh, shoot. Oh, my gosh. See, tons Griffin better. wasted this time. So he just smoked. Griffin on the first. But was that a stupid mistake to go backside? Yeah. Okay, here we go. Griff. 
Come on, Gryffinator. Ooh. Okay. That was sexy. Waves kind of wonky. Okay. Air? What do you think? Was it as good as... Mm -mm. Might be a six. So let me ask you a question. This is for non-surfers too. Do they add up all the points and then that's who wins? <laughs> it's best two waves. It's best two waves. You've never explained that, you jerk. You can catch as many waves as you want. So guys, it's the best two waves. <laughs> <laughs> what are you feeling in your gut right now, Sterles? I'm worried. So back in the day with judges, how did they do it without replays? They literally just whatever they saw. Yeah. See, that sounds like it. That's a, how Kelly won so many more that, that. Yeah, <laughs> That's Lucy Goose. So if Ethan gets another bomb like he just did, yeah. he's, uh, Griffin's in trouble. Griffin just didn't have the better wave, so See, it didn't al allow him to get as radical. That's why I think you, what you say is true. The future is wave pools mm. because it's more consistent, and you can mm. judge it more consistently. Yeah. Like, we're, we're, we're judging God. <laughs> <laughs> we're judging nature. Yeah, it's you're waiting around too much. Like, there could be a freaking jellyfish that was right there and bumped his board a little different. Exactly. <laughs> so or s if someone threw a hot dog. Yeah, there could have been a floating Miller Lite can. <laughs> If there is wave, if they build the wave poles with the right stadium, like where people are looking down, dude, that'd be insane. Like state of the art, everything around the wave pole, and they're surfing like in a circle, like yeah. the wave just keeps going. They're like, dude, and people are like sitting around it like tennis. Yeah, and the sound of the crowd when they're surfing will be like, right. wow. In like thirty years, they'll look back at this and they'll be like, they used to do it's it. So like ghetto. <laughs> Dude, there is one thing I'm worried about, Kelly. Have you ever heard of Bill Russell? The basketball player? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Did you know he won the NBA title 11 times? That's crazy. Did oh, you? back in the day. Yeah. Yeah, he's like the most winningest. Yeah, I know yeah. you're talking about. Yeah. And they never talk about him, him being the best. Nope. It's always Michael Jordan. So what I'm worried about for Kelly okay. is he's going to turn into the Bill Russell. Oh, I see what because you're saying. Because say we say we get wave pools. Right. And then these kids are gnarly. Yeah, they're freaking. Like Michael Jordan and LeBron. Yeah. They're just so crazy and so much better. And <clears throat> when you hear about Bill Russell winning 11, it's almost too many. You're like, okay, dude. They must it's like it must have been really easy back <laughs> then for you to win 11, dude. Right. It kind of diminishes it a little bit. Yes. That's what I'm worried. I'm worried Kelly won too much. Hmm. And it's backfiring. Kelly should have done what Michael Jordan did and left for a little while, like went and played tennis or something. Right. <laughs> <laughs> like Michael played baseball. Kelly should have retired for a little bit. I think he did. To play tennis. <laughs> Kelly did retire for a year. What did he do? <coughs> Is that when he developed the moon shoes? I heard he lived in Venice and never left his room. What happened? I think he got super depressed. Uh oh. Gryffindor! Gryffindor! There wave. we go. I'm liking this. That looks like a good way. Okay, nice hit. It's running Ooh. a little fast. Ooh, Ooh, bad wave. Bad wave. Ewing. Ewing. Dude, full wraparound. <laughs> We're screwed. Uh oh. Jeez. Like a hot knife through butter. <laughs> oh my! Was that a good. Oh no, he just stamped it. <laughs> I mean, these aren't bad. There's just the wave. It's the wave selection. Yeah, the wave didn't open up. So that's another thing about surfing. It's all about wave selection. Oh, yeah. Look at that. He's like He's freaking. He's shredding. Yeah. The board looks great. He looks great. Oh, this is a good wave. <laughs> Ethan's gnarly. Uh-oh. Uh, here goes Griffin. This is huge. Oh, my gosh. He's got to go for it. Good turn. Good turn. Ah, another uh, uh, uh the waves. Same. Hey, he liked it. He's trying to sell it. Okay, they gave Griffin a two. <laughs> this is close. <laughs> <laughs> he's gonna try an air or something. Come on! Oh, he's going backside. He's gonna try a crazy air. <gasps> Told you. No, he didn't nail it, Sterling. Okay, Griff's up. Oh, this is a good wave. Oh, ah. Shakuki. Oh, he's gonna go big. <laughs> Dang it. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Griffin. No. Oh, no. Ethan. Ethan's out the back. Ah. Oh, my gosh. Do you think Griffin needs an air? 
No, he needs to wait for the biggest, best wave. And yeah. and he's got five minutes to do it. Oh, no. So he needs an 8.8 .8 to beat him. <laughs> oh, my gosh. He made it higher. <laughs> so he's only got four minutes. Griffin's, like, on the beach crowd surfing. Like, yeah! They're like, we're losing! <laughs> They're like, Griffin! Uh-oh. Maybe that'll help. Yeah, do something to help him. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sending him a wave. <laughs> We're at 2 minutes and 32 seconds. Griffin is waiting for a wave of the l his life right now. Why are they? Griffin surfing. Oh, here we go. Here we go. I uh, fell. Dude, he's got 30 seconds. Too much. Can't watch. I told you. Griffin was partying too hard. But he's not even... Not right now, before the heat. No, I mean, like, he does, he's not going to get a wave. I know. It's, it's over. over. It's over. It's over. Well, what's he paddling towards? He's leaving? He's going to paddle... To Hawaii. Oh, this is. Wait, so if he gets up, does it count? It's over. He lost. Too much. But All the pressure is on Griffin. Yeah, but here's what I hate. Can I turn this down for a sec? Here's what I don't like as a bystander Griffin has been paddling around for the last seven minutes, waiting for a freaking wave. Time's up. But for the last seven Time's minutes. Time's up. He didn't even get a wave. He had plenty of waves. Oh, okay. But he didn't <laughs> have a time to do that last minute wave. <sighs> Griffin, we love you, buddy. Well, surfing is a interesting little animal. Last time I'll say it. I don't understand. He had seven more minutes to get a wave, and a wave just didn't show up. In a wave pool, like you say, in the future, he'll be able to keep on keeping on. It's more fair. It's more, like, competitive. Like, we're actually going to get to surf. That's what was gnarly traveling for these contests. I would travel across the world, and a wave wouldn't come. And I'm like... <laughs> Exactly. I would just sit there for 10 minutes like, uh, it's what? It sounds like a it's flip of a coin. Mm -hmm. Dude, so we, we kind of scored for Hurricane Italo. <laughs> Adalia. Yeah, Adalia. It was great, but the only bummer thing was the yeah. super moon tide. Super moon tide. It was a super moon. It only happens in every nine years. Gosh, so we'll be what, so 26? The tides, so like the waves weren't hitting the sandbars as good. Oh, I see. So it was, was real bouncy. It was and too... It was beautiful. That was the perfect swell direction for Alabama. I know. I saw some clips from Alabama, and people were saying, like, that's from Alabama. Rainbow Alabama. And then I saw this one come out where this guy was like, how are Alabama surfers this good? And they're like. They're not. They're f <laughs> from Florida. <laughs> they're from Florida. <laughs> and But I love the comment. They're like, they have to surf crappy waves all day, every day. So when they have good waves, it's like. <laughs> it's not true. It's not true? I always thought that was true. No, it's hard to surf good ways. You got to surf good ways to be good in good ways. I guess what I'm saying is, I've told this story before. <laughs> I tried to surf. If you can surf crap, you can surf anything. <laughs> I just always kind of believe that. No, that's why like <laughs> most like Florida surfers, when they go to Hawaii, they can't. They're like. 90% of the Florida surfers, they go one year and never come back because it's just so gnarly. Because it's too fast to. Well, we're used to surfing Two inch waves. Baby. Yeah. So like You're talking high level. I'm talking just Joe Schmo Rai Rai going to Mexico and surfing. If you are from Florida and go to Costa Rica, you're gonna have a ball. That's what I'm talking <laughs> about. <laughs> Not like good, good waves. But the saying like if you can surf this, you can surf anywhere is like, no, if you can surf Hawaii, then yeah, you can surf anything. So myth busted. Myth busted. <laughs> <laughs> well, I always was yeah, because you have to be like a ninja to get up on these little crappy Florida waves. I always thought that. I had an advantage when the waves got small because I'm used to, yeah, getting myself <laughs> going. <laughs> so if it was small, like guys would fear me. Right. Because I could just, me, 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 me. Right, like, I could fly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you told that story before. It was small and you were surfing against Kelly or something and they were like. Oh, yeah, J-Bay. He was like worried. He's like, crap, this guy <laughs> can surf little waves better than me. <laughs> Oh, I for, for sure could take cows down in, like, thigh highways. Uh, in, on Pensacola <laughs> Beach? <laughs> yeah. Dude, that'd be sick. Fly Kelly in to compete against <laughs> We did. You. Oh, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> show the clip. How could you get Kelly Slater to come here? Oh, well, we have to surf the final. I think he's going to shine it because he doesn't want me to win. I've arranged a Kelly Slater impersonator. Oh, my God. That looks just like What's him. What's up, dude? My business is called the Kelly Slater Experience. Basically, we have four two-minute heats. <laughs> hey everyone, we're down at the Gulf Coast World Title Classic. We've got Kelly Slater and Sterling Spencer. He did fly in for that. <laughs> well, what didn't it turn out to be just an impersonator? Yeah. Was, well, 
I and hired an impersonator. <laughs> a Kelly Slater experience. Because Kelly didn't show. But the hurricane swell, it was a big one. Yeah. Dude, the biggest hurricane swell, 2018 Hurricane Michael. Dude. That one was a five and it hit just past Panama City. Dude. I woke up that next day and I was like, oh my gosh. I'm legit scared. Really? And I had a 7 0 Channel Islands a Tom Curran Black Beauty. <laughs> yeah. That I'd never ridden. It's somewhere in here. And, uh, probably over there. It was my biggest board I had. And so, what I had to do to get out, it was like a f- pure river. Oh, the rip. Yeah. That's what was so gnarly. It was super big. It was like 10 foot Hawaiian, which is 20 foot here. Dude. And I had a, s- I had a paddle out at 19th just to get out at the pier. What? Which is 19 streets. Yeah. Which that's is like a couple miles. It was so gnarly. You know, I had, I like parked a car, drove, left two cars like someone else. Ooh. And like, I was paddling for the horizon. I'd never seen it break that far out. It was third sandbar. Dude. And I was so far out. I was looking at the pier. I was looking that, in at the pier. That's crazy. That's how far out I was. Dude. And I was by myself and I'm like, Mm. I surfed like so much Hawaii. Like I was like, I have to be able to surf this. <laughs> right. Like Hawaiian summon all your Hawaiian powers. <laughs> yeah. There's some crazy waves a day. And then I went flat in an hour. That's what I don't get, dude. It's like a tease. So I was way out there and it just stopped and I had to paddle all the way in. <laughs> You're just like, it was it. the craziest feeling like to be so far out. It's so big. I caught like one of the biggest waves, but the picture, you can't see it because the wave is in front. There's the enough. wave in front so big, I'm in front. I'm oh, behind it. Gosh. So I only caught two waves in that couple hours, and then it went flat. Ugh. It's such a bummer being a f- Gulf Coast surfer. It's a bummer if you're trying to get pictures or video. Yeah. Being a Gulf Coaster is the one of the hardest places to right. become a surfer. It's brutal. It's brutal. It's either too hot, too cold. <laughs> There's no... There's no waves. I have to work when it's up. The waves break every three seconds. So you'll paddle out, it's like, goosh, goosh, goosh. And you're like, ah, gah. <laughs> Dude, there's been so many times where I just was cursing my brains out. Like, <laughs> I remember I was in Hawaii for like years and I came home for a, a big hurricane surf and I almost drowned. Because you weren't used to it. I, because it's so, no, yeah, like the getting out was so much harder. I'm used to like big channels, like, <laughs> So I know over the years, your brother has been scheming to put out some man-made reefs out there. Right. What could we do? Could we like... Dude, we tried once. What'd you do? We tried to put uh, sandbags. Really? So at night, we found this hundred sandbag laying somewhere, like after hurricane stuff. Oh, people had put their sandbags somewhere because they didn't need them anymore. Yeah. We filled them up and carried them out there. <laughs> what? And um, at night... I remember there's so many jellyfish and my friend VJ. Yeah. We were on this kayak and we're like trying to get the sandbags out there. <laughs> and then like VJ falls. I'm like, VJ, no. He's like, ah. And he falls into the jellyfish <laughs> and it's stinging. He's like, why? And it's dark out. He was so, he was like crying. <laughs> like, so you guys are so addicted to surfing that you kayaked at night to, to drop get sandbags. <laughs> What's funny is it worked. Really? Yeah. It made the sandbar better. Dude. How far out were, far out were you? Just to where the sandbar like was. Like 20 feet, 30 feet. 20 feet. Dude, that is, hel- I never knew you did that. <laughs> that is so funny. My dad, back in the day, they tried it too. They tried to park a car in the water. What? In the 70s. How do you park a car out in the water? Well, you they drove as far as they could, and then like it <laughs> sunk, and they got out, and the sandbar like goes over it. Oh. I guess it worked. Dude, what can we do? What if we drop? All we need is the tractors that drive on the beach every day to push a V-shaped bar. That's it. Dude, can we do it? Or is it turtles too? It's like, no, you can't do it. And then like they build a giant condominium on yeah. like, like <laughs> beautiful. If it doesn't make money for people, they're not going to do it. Yeah. If we told. They don't care about. If we told <laughs> that it could make a lot of money. We could have a sick yeah. surf spot. They'll claim nature yeah, with anything else, but it's like it's all about money. Everything's all about money here. Everything is all about money. <laughs> you heard it here. Dude, did you hear about that 70s show actor? Yeah. 
Yes. I'm so sad. I know. I loved him. You know how we always root for somebody? Like, I'm like, maybe those girls are lying. Maybe. Nope. I don't think so. He's right as of right now, unless he gets Danny out. Danny Masterson. Yeah. 30 years in jail. 30 years. He'll be, he'll get out when At he's. At least 30. He'll, yeah. If it's 30, he'll be out when he's like 80 almost. Wasn't worth it. It's n- no. <laughs> 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 Rape. <laughs> <laughs> rape's never worth it. That's a now t- remember, kids. Rape's never worth it. You'll go. Why to does d- he need a rape? Girls want him. If it's true, and what he did was one hundred percent true, then yes, he deserves to be. It's sad. It's terrible. Let me ask you this question, Mister Sterling. Okay. Is there actual surf training that you would say you really were going to start a surf <laughs> training class? What would you do? Like, say, okay, what guys? Like, like, if like you know, like you see these videos of people doing all these <laughs> raglan's trying to do it now. He looks like an idiot. Yeah, <laughs> and you've got all these people doing surf training. Surf training. Okay, so if Sterling Spencer was going to start a surf training class, what would you actually do? Oh. Say you got six people from Arkansas, and they're like, "I want to learn to surf." They're they're youngerish. Just send them to Interlight Surf Camp. Really? <laughs> okay, that's a good. <laughs> if it if it's literally just basic, whatever. Like the surf camps, they're f- great. And what do they do? They they Just learn teach you the basics. They learn how to paddle, pop up. <clears throat> but if you want to get good, yeah, say me. Say I'm pretty athletic. I can learn. I'm gonna get good. How would you train a guy like me? Me and Sterling have gone surfing a lot, and I will. Not, I'm not ashamed to say he's pushed me into quite a few waves. <laughs> <laughs> I know my shoulder hurts. <laughs> <laughs> He'll push the board, and I'm like, yeah. If you're online right now looking for trainers, I would say the only two. There's probably more, but. The two most legitimate mm-hmm. is Bradley Gerlach. Bradley Gerlach. Wave Key. Wave Key. And Kaheo Heart in Hawaii. Kaheo Heart in Hawaii. Well, because I think there's a lot of inlanders that watch us, and they, I think they're curious about how to learn to surf, but they don't want to end up on Kook of the Day. Right. <laughs> so it's like, <laughs> it's okay. Just get out there and learn at Interlight Surf Camp. Yeah, just go to any like surf shop, surf camp. But online, there's a lot of... That's what's funny. Is you see a guy trying to teach you, and then he gets on a soft top, and he's like... <laughs> Watch the guy serve. If the guy can serve, then you can trust it. Right. But there's like lots of people on the internet that are doing these online courses and they're just stealing from people. What, their ideas and stuff? No, they're, they don't. Oh, they're tricking people. They're just taking information that they've heard and just regurgitating it. Right. So I heard somewhere online that World War II helped pr- progress surfing in a major way. Did you know that? Why? Because Navy. Navy. Because <laughs> the Navy, like, ship surfers everywhere? So from what I heard, too, it, prog- it progressed, like, the actual quality of the boards from, like, just wooden boards. All the new technology they were building for tanks and stuff and all mm-hmm. this. Cra- they, like, had a, a higher quality, like, resin and foams mm-hmm. and all this stuff. Mm-hmm. So World World War Two was a big part of pushing surfing. That's what I heard. The technology. The technology and also, like... That's cool. Isn't that weird? Like, all the different, I guess... You know how surfing started here? In Gulf Breeze? In <laughs> Pensacola. Did it? No, do you know how it started? <laughs> <laughs> no. Wait, surfing started in Pensacola? I was like, I thought it started in Indonesia or Hawaii. <coughs> so how did, yeah, how did surfing start happening in this area? The Navy guys in Hawaii brought their boards over. Is that true? No In way. the 50s. So in the 50s, because there's a bunch of Navy and military bases around So they here. had surfboards and they brought them over and left them on the beach. My dad and their friends found them. Shut up. They just left it. They're like, we got to go. Like, what is this? <laughs> Wooden boards? No, they are real poly, hmm. polyester boards. <laughs> Dude, I never knew that. So because of the military presence, people from around the world brought boards. So they left a board here and the guys in the 50s found it and they all shared it. That's cool. And uh, like John Russell, Mm -hmm. um, he was one of the first. He was the generation before my dad. My dad was like 16, so this is like 1960. Mm -hmm. So the first guys found it in the late 50s, and like they're like, "This is a surfboard." And then Endless Summer came out and went through movie theaters and stuff, and they all saw it, and they're like, "Whoa, how do we get a surfboard?" And someone's like, "Oh, we found one from a Navy guy." (laughs) That's crazy. Isn't it crazy? Dude, it's like a movie. They need to make a movie out of that. I know. Well, that's what how surfing spread across everywhere. Just people bringing boards and... And well, Endless Summer, like, stoked everyone up. Right. It is crazy, the power of a film, a movie. It really gets you going. Endless Summer will always be the Bible of surfing. Right. Like, there will never be a film better. 
I want to watch it again. Because it's just a benchmark of our world. That's cool. Oh, oh no. no. Uh-oh. <laughs> Whoa. Wyatt Whoa. What's up, buddy? Hey, Wyatt. Whoa, whoa, what What's going on here? Whoa. All right, come here. Hey, Wyatt, we have a question for you. What? What do you think about Ron John's Surf Shop? Did you guys already hear me say it I'm in the last video? Ron John is a fake surf shop. <gasps> it's a fake surf shop? Yeah, and I'm not telling it anymore. Okay, bye. Well, get, luckily, we have the clips from the other shot, and we're going to cut to it right now. Wyatt, do you still have strong opinions about Ron John? I can finally say it. You know, Ron John, have you ever seen surfboards at Ron John? Well, no, you haven't, because it's totally fake. <laughs> fake, 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 fake. They're scumbags. They're scumbags. Yeah. They just want money. They're so evil, they forgot about the surfboards. They don't care about us surfers. So what surf shop should they go to? They should go to Interline instead. Ron John? Eh. Ron John? Eh. Why, everyone wants to know if you're going to be a pro surfer one day. No. Come on. No. Hey, Wyatt, look. Look what I did. <gasps> uh, oh. I got your own crest. <laughs> Why, I got him. I got him. Uh, here you go. Nope. What's the password? Ron John. Uh, there's... Uh, you'll never let me have an Uncrustable. See you again. This is not yours, bruh. But he called me a bruh. Bruh. Were you a big Jimmy Buffett fan? No. You used to do a lot of margaritas back in the day <laughs> to get your dance juice. I wasn't a huge fan, but, you know, I've been hearing Jimmy Buffett my whole life. Right. And it's crazy to see him pass away. He has his giant hotel on our beach. I know. Jim, what's it? Margaritaville. <laughs> and he wasn't that old. He was only like 76. Dude, it's 76 changing, used to sound so old to me. Old? Yeah. Now it's like the new 20s. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Jimmy Buffett's no longer with us. That's sad. So sad. Skin cancer, dude. Was it really? You know what? Sunscreen. Sunscreen? Can't use sunscreen. Whoa. <laughs> Wait a minute. So he died of sun screen <laughs> sun cancer skin cancer and sun was, cancer <laughs> was it from sunscreen this is my theory all right sterling's theory on sunscreen well it's not really a theory it's like a fact sunscreen is <laughs> one of the worst things to put on your skin i heard kelly barely ever wears sunscreen no no surfer wears sunscreen see i think it's such a trick everyone thinks everyone wears sunscreen all day no we do, we wear like, I wear, like, a rash guard or a shirt. Right. And then maybe zinc on my nose. Well, how does Kelly uh, block it from his bald head? I, he probably has some kind of zinc stuff. Oh, okay. Some, like, complete reflection. Bing! <laughs> <laughs> he should put a little solar panel up there. Beep, 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 beep. Yeah, like, if you're not a surfer watching this, like, sunscreen, like, normal sunscreen is the most cancerous thing you can put on your skin because it's just shoving all these chemicals into your body and your skin is like your biggest organ yeah so you're putting toxic chemicals straight into your blood well what is so the alternative is to stay in the shade or what i do i mean i'm lucky to have tan skin yeah you're more makes it easier but i surf in the mornings i don't surf from noon to four that is the hottest hour. Yeah, the sun is. You're going to get summer no matter what. Right. So I avoid those hours. And if I do have to, I wear a rash guard. Your, da- your dad was always so tan. I know. He's almost black. I, remember, <laughs> I, remember I said s- that when I was a kid. <laughs> I remember seeing him at Christmas and I could barely see his face. <laughs> it's just white eyes and the bushes. <laughs> <laughs> when I was a kid, we grew up on Gulf Breeze and there was yeah. no black people in Gulf right. Breeze. <laughs> yeah and i remember going to the mall and i saw my first black people <laughs> and, I was the mall. and my, i'm like dad why are they black he's like those are black people i was like whoa and i look at him he was so dark and i was looking at him like are, are you, you black <laughs> and he died laughing <laughs> all right guys we've never done this before we're going Ooh. live on the wsl so, Sterling, you were saying earlier how women shouldn't be in sports. <laughs> what do you mean by that? Women shouldn't be in sports. <laughs> I said men and women should be separate because I think women can make more money without us. Do you want to go into that a se- for a yeah, second? Let's, let's give it a let's try. Let's try it. So, you're saying there should be a WWSL, Women's World Surf League. <laughs> <laughs> I think the women should be separate. 
the men's. So real quickly, break it down. The men and the women surf on the same times. They break it up. Mm -hmm. Women go out. Men go out. And I feel like men surfing is different from women surfing. And they're trying to just force it to be the same. Be careful. (laughs) (laughs) No, this is good. I feel like women surfing could be bigger than men surfing. Okay, explain. Just what brings money to any sport is personalities. And I feel like they're just grouping women into men's and like they, it's just all the same. Hmm. And I feel like women, if they started their own separate world, they could really like accentuate who women are and their personalities and like the contest could feel different and maybe feel more them hmm. I think would attract more money like you know when tennis women's tennis mm-hmm. it became so popular because the girls were wear cute things and like it really took off when women started being themselves hmm. and I feel like uh, it could be the same with women surfing like especially uh, longboard yeah, girl dude. stuff. Dude, like, they're so stylish. Yeah, like that could be its own magical world, like fashion meets surfing. Yeah, and like I, I their events could be super rad, like almost like uh, fashion shows. And dude, companies would throw so much more money for them because everything's about money. <laughs> yeah, <everything's laughs> like, about money. Like we've been saying. I don't know. I just feel like women, it's not their true, I don't think it's their true flavor the way they're trying to turn it in like yeah you don't mean it in any negative way it's just a way to and i think it would be good for men's too like where they could just be we are men yeah you know like you don't have to like sugarcoat anything or like (coughs) because what was cool about like the old contest and back in the day it was just it was just like these freaking pirates Mm -hmm. like at g land just freaking (laughs) but i'm not saying girls can't do that either i'm just saying like i just think women's have their own flavor of life yeah Uh, and it's like i think they both could be bigger um separate and i feel like it's and also women they usually don't get the best waves Hmm. They wait for the guys. And it's like, you can have a women's contest and wait for just the right waves. Oh, so they will actually give them the worst waves? Yes. That's not cool. That's what I'm saying. Like, <clears throat> it's just like, I think they both could be bigger. Okay. Separate. And no one, I don't want anyone getting mad at me. Yeah. Because y- I'm not comparing like men versus women or whatever. I just genuinely think like, Women on Instagram, like, they can make so much more money. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) And it's like the surfing girls, they need to, like, tap into that. Right. And I feel like the guys is holding them back. Just got more creative with their events. And they they could be so huge. I mean, maybe they get, like, Reese Witherspoon to host it. (laughs) Yeah, like, get creative. Like, Queen Latifah comes. Yeah, and she's like, get myself, girl. We gonna (laughs) do this. It could be a huge fashion surf week. Fashion surf, celebrities. Just the sickest vibe ever. Right. Like, like... Like, they could have DJs. <laughs> yeah, dude. They should have freaking Paul Fisher, like, pumping jams on the beach. For sure. And there's, like, fashion shows, and there's, like, this new thing, and this and that, and the women are shredding out front. Like, yeah, it could be, dude, it could be so much bigger. But instead, there's, like, wearing the same jersey and wetsuits. Like, yeah. there's no flavor to there's it. There's no creativity. There could be. Like, to dude, me, this all looks like the same person, because I don't know anything about serving. Yeah, like, dude. If DJs can get big, like... <laughs> <laughs> is there a possibility to put bleachers in the water? In the water? <laughs> <laughs> can Where we, you're like, wow! Yeah, can we get floating bleachers? Like, <laughs> Yeah, they have to go through us. We're like, whoa! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like floating stands and like people throwing hot dogs and... Yeah, we throw hot dogs at the <laughs> servers. <laughs> like baseball games, they have so much stuff happening between stuff because it's kind of boring. They need an organ player. They need an organ player. They need when like, they're servants, like... They need a, p- a paddle race, <laughs> like people racing in the water. It needs to be like a carnival <laughs> slash DJ Burning Man vibe. With floating. Uh, and there's 
and you can pay extra for the floating seats. <laughs> yeah. So you're out in the line. You're like, ah! you have floating seats. You like, can ah! throw popcorn at them. Like, <laughs> who do you think would win in a fight, Italo or <laughs> Laird Hamilton? <sighs> this is a good one. This is a good one. Well, think Laird's about it. a lot bigger. And I, Laird's stronger than you think. Here's what here's what I think. I think in your mind you've built up Laird. I don't think he's that tall. <laughs> I've, I've stood next to Laird. Oh, you have. Yes, he's oh. like six foot. Okay, so I bet, but I think in your mind you think he's like seven feet tall. <laughs> he, I mean, he's a wide dude. He's just a beefy bro. He's a beefcake. My money, no offense to Laird, is on My Italo. Money? My money is on Italo. Why? Because he's scrappier. Yeah, and he's Brazilian, and he knows how to bite and stuff. Laird would probably be like. I'm going to muscle you, boy. <laughs> what? <laughs> that was the weirdest. I think it's not a fair. If it's a street fight, oh, Italo. How about this? Prime Laird. Prime Italo. Laird. Laird. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever been at a contest where the where a world title gets handed out? Mm-hmm. Which one? The this craziest is. contest I've ever been to. Yeah. When Andy and Kelly were fighting for the world title in the very last heat. And it was the first time Andy beat Kelly. Dude. It was the first one, I believe. <coughs> and it was, I was there all day. I was staying at the Billabong house. And so, like, that was the year where Kelly came over to the house. Mm-hmm. Une- unexpected. Yeah. The vibe was crazy in Hawaii because, like, Andy and Kelly, um, whoever wins, wins. Yeah. Pipe. So, one day, Kelly just came over, and we're all sitting there. And Kelly's like, oh, hey. And Andy was, like, eating cereal or something. <laughs> and he's like, get the f- out of here he said that to kelly he's like what are you doing here leave wow and kelly was like oh i was just i was just like i was coming to see uh he was trying to play mind games yeah he was trying to he's do gonna, like make fun of his cereal so i would dude i was sitting on the beach and i remember kelly went up to andy and put his arm around him and he was like i love you kelly said that and andy looked at him like what <laughs> 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 i remember sitting there watching i'm like and pipe, it was super small. It was like this big, and it wasn't tubing. Hmm. It was all rights. And uh, yeah, Kelly went up to and like in his ears, like "I love you." Gross. And Andy went out and just like destroyed Kelly. <laughs> <laughs> like it backfired. Oh, so you think that was Kelly's last last ditch effort to kind of get in his head? Kelly seemed super nervous because he uh, he just could tell Andy had the psychological edge. Like mm. Kelly was always able to get in other people's heads. And Andy was just like this pure Hawaiian warrior. Yeah. Like, I will eat you alive. (laughs) And Kelly's like, I love you. (laughs) (laughs) I remember um, seeing footage of you in California and someone had won the world title. It was Kelly. And then you went bowling with him that night. Uh, (laughs) We've never told this story. So we were in San Francisco. Yeah. And I was with Taj Burrow. And what's funny is Taj and Kelly were one and two. Okay. <clears throat> and they dated the same sisters. Ew. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like it could get messy. <laughs> yeah, it was weird. So the sisters, Ke- one was dating Kelly and one was dating Taj. <laughs> was she the number two sister? Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> Taj lost and Kelly, um, they they messed up on the scores. Right, but they t- totally thought he won, like carried him in. Yes, they carried him in. You won, you did it, but he he needed to make the final. <laughs> but we found that out later that night. Right. And Weren't you down the beach, though, when he won? Yeah, I was There's down. There's footage of you down the beach surfing, and you can see Kelly far off yeah. getting carried off. Yeah, I was like in my own. <laughs> I was actually surfing against <laughs> Kelly. <laughs> About <laughs> half a mile down. <laughs> you, I mean, I was technically surfing in the final... <laughs> Advent. <laughs> About half a mile <laughs> east. And they're carrying him off, and I'm, like, by myself. <laughs> Waving. So t- that night, I remember we were sitting at this Mexican restaurant, me and Dave. Yeah. And there was a beautiful, it was, Hall- it was during near Halloween. Yeah. And there was this beautiful uh, king's costume across the street in this store. What's a king? Oh, oh like a, a costume. A, yeah, like a king. Yeah. And Todd's like, dude, come to the bowling alley and mess with Kelly. That's what happened? Yeah, and I look across the street, and I see this <laughs> king, king costume. With the crown. And I, like, run over there, and uh, I, like, bought it, put it on. <laughs> I was like, dude, let's crown Kelly at yeah. the bowling alley. And I remember we were so nervous. <laughs> like, Dave's like, I don't know, man. Yeah. This is his world title party. Like, yeah. I was like, eh. 
So we get there, <laughs> and Kelly's like <laughs> wasted. He's drunk. Kelly never drinks, and he's hammered drunk. Yeah, in the video, he kind of looks a little <laughs> loose. <laughs> he was. And I remember, I'll never forget, like Mick Fanning, like all the, <laughs> uh, like all the pro servers are all, they're all bowling right next to Kelly. And I like walk up. And, and we were, Mick Fanning's like, Sterling! And I walk up, I'm like, <laughs> and I, so I had the crown, and I have this big fro. Yeah. It was a huge crown, so yeah. it could barely fit on my head. <laughs> So I remember I walk up to Kelly and he's like kind of drunk. He's like, huh? And I set it on his head and he goes, it, wouldn't it went over it. his eyes and he's like, huh? What? <laughs> <laughs> and I remember Mick Fanning like fell on the floor laughing. He's like, oh my gosh, Mike, that was the funniest thing I ever seen. And then he, he's like trying to fix it. He keeps trying to keep it on his head. He's like, what? <laughs> hey, Sterling, can you ask him again, please? Thanks, guys, for subscribing. Please keep subscribing. We would love it if you subscribed. What is he doing? I'm not coming back till they subscribe. Oh, you're not coming back? Mm Mm-mm. All right. Are you subscribing? Now's the time. He's checking. (laughs) (laughs) All right. Let's read the best comments from this week. If you want to be on our wall, write some good comments. First one, from American Nightmare, make a shirt with Aki staring at a toaster. (laughs) I love that one. As a representative of the foil board community, you're forgiven. Let's get a Coke and foil board sometime. (laughs) Let's go with foil board. 227564, you made it on the wall. What a podcast. (laughs) That was fun. Turned into a doozy. (laughs) Turned into quite the doozy. (laughs) All right. All right. take Take us out, sweetheart. How's it? Thank you for watching Pinch My Salt, the hit podcast of the world's number one surfer, Sterling Spencer. You know the rules. Subscribe and tickle that like button. Pinch My Salt. (laughs) 